Don't forget Saturday. You want us both to be in one place. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the FNAF Show with Daco and Andy Field. Exotic Butters. <laughs> that was amazing. What's Perfect. Up? Uh, but yeah, welcome to the FNAF Show, guys. Um, this is episode four. And today, as you saw from the intro, I'm with a very special guest who I've been with before in the charity streams. It's Mr. Andy Field, the voice of Hand Unit and... Tutorial no, Unit. Tutorial Unit in Five Nights at Freddy's 6. That's Hello. right. That's right. We, we, we really went out on a limb and tried to get a whole different character between <laughs> five and six. <laughs> yeah, com <laughs> completely different. <laughs> we really wanted to stretch my artistic abilities, and, you know, see, <laughs> see my range. <laughs> that, it, was, it was that perfect that it didn't need to be changed. There you well, go. You know, it is, it, I think that's right. That's, that's, <laughs> what, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to tell people. <laughs> So, yeah, the first question straight from the bat, right? Games production official asked, have you ever tasted exotic butters? Oh, I have. Oh, yeah. Have you? I, oh, well, yeah, of course. I mean, it's just butter with stuff in it, isn't it? <laughs> no, I haven't. But I was looking at some recipes the other day. Uh, I was thinking I might do a YouTube video of like how to make butter, right? And so, right. But then, but then I found recipes, and there were actually things that they were like, well, I don't like regular butter, you know. Maybe we put some salt and some sour cream in it, you know. And and I'm like, well, that's actually pretty exotic. I would, uh, mm -hmm. I would make that, and I would eat that. So I don't think I've eaten exotic butters, but. Uh, um I, I would totally. I would totally. Yeah, you have. I, I saw you last year. Well, we've got to do it again. <laughs> Oh, yes. So, this is the Exotic Butters Challenge. So, Andy, this is basically putting torture on me. I have a little bit of butter, a tiniest bit of butter, right? Okay. And I have some special ingredients provided by my mom's kitchen. All right. So, Thank you, Mom, Mama Darko. On this plate, you can decide which ones I pick in the butter. You're probably going to say all of them. I have... Oh... Salt is the first ingredient. Pepper. Okay. Italian herbs. All right. Do you, do you know what herbs they are? Italian. Uni. Aye. Lemon juice. Okay. And dog biscuits. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So. What's it gonna be? What are you gonna put on for my exotic butters? For your butters, we're going to put. Okay, we're, we need salt and pepper. That's just kind of okay. That's that's general. How, how much? Tell 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 me when to stop. Okay. Okay. Because I don't want to get high blood pressure. Ready? Okay. Just a dash. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! That might that might even be too much. That's too okay. much. No. Okay. And just a just a just a smattering of pepper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. There we go. There we go. Anything else? Okay. Uh, yeah. Give a little. Give a little squirt of honey on the top because you know, you gotta squirt you gotta honey. you gotta balance out the salt with a little mm -hmm. sweetness there. Okay. Just just a little squirt since you don't you got this small thing. You know, we voice actors use honey a lot. That that's, much? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Just a little. Yeah. There you go. Just a little bit. Okay. Anything else? I can tell you like honey. Uh. Well, they say time heals all wounds, so let's get a little bit of that Italian herbs with the thyme okay. in it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I just wanted to use that pot, actually. <laughs> Get a, a pinch, as we say in the South, down here in the South United States. There just we go. All right, perfect. Um, and then I think uh, just stir it all up with those dog biscuits and then use the dog biscuit to the eat. The dog biscuits! <laughs> no! <laughs> You knew I was going to do it, man. Yeah, I knew you was. I knew you was. This much, a handful? And for the dog biscuits? Uh, oh, God. Yeah. Less sure. or more? Less. Uh, I was just going to say. Oh, they're not like bone shaped biscuits. I see. I was going to say use the They're like little. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Right. So I'm just going to mix it in. It smells. Oh, I my. The dog, I imagine. The dog food has destroyed it. It just smells like <laughs> dog food. Well, I'm going to be. 
Just psych yourself up. There's okay. not really anything in that dog food but like corn and grains. Well, so at, at the end of the day, it's exotic. That's and true. I'm just living the life. Get you just a big nasty glob of it. Make sure you get some dog biscuits in it now, and then just, <laughs> and then just you know, let her rip. Is that okay? Oh, that's beautiful. I I think I would eat that if I were there. Well, if I ever see you in the future, this is what I'm getting payback for. Yeah, totally. We'll do that. <laughs> Ready? Oh my, Andy, it stinks. <sighs> okay. Three, two, one. Exotic waters. Oh my, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. Oh, that's the best. It was too salty. Oh, the salt overpowered everything. So, yeah, well, and I, I thought it did when it came out. You know, I'm I'm, I'm a pretty, I'm pretty much a, a gourmand. And, uh, when I saw that, I knew we were going to need more dog biscuits to balance it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Um, Cookie Plays asked, what is your favorite FNAF animatronic? You know, I I get that one a lot. I think I'm going to stick with Circus Baby. I think she's still mm -hmm. my favorite. Uh, just because there's, there's a good bit of depth to Circus Baby. Yes. Right? Yep. We, we want to know more about Circus Baby. And, you know, I'm not bagging on any of the other characters, you know, but Funtime Freddy... I don't necessarily want to know more about Funtime Freddy. If anything, mm -hmm. I may want to know less. I want to get away from Funtime Freddy. <laughs> circus Baby, she starts talking and you're like, I'm pretty sure she's bad. Yes. But 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 I still want more of this. I want to know what's going on with Circus Baby, right? Yeah. It's, I think Heather just did a phenomenal job of building that character. Uh, and so, yeah, she's, she's still the favorite, I think, of mine anyway. Mm-hmm. As far as just favorites overall, and sometimes people say, what's the scariest one, or, you know, yeah, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah, Iron Matt 2002. Iron Matt, yeah, I know yes, this guy. Asked, do you like voicing hand unit or tutorial unit more? Um, I'm having a little more fun with tutorial unit lately mm. because the lines are all, I, I still don't, you know, I had a good bit of hand unit's lines memorized after doing all the Comic Cons in 2017. Uh, but tutorial, he's a whole new guy, and I'm having to. Well, he's not a whole new guy. It's the same character, really. But mm -hmm. but the lines are all new, and so uh, I'm finding that they've added. You know, just like I did at the beginning of the show here, I can talk to people at conventions and stuff, or I can people want me to do prank calls and things like that. And mm -hmm. there's a lot more lines I could pull out and yes. say things. You know, I could say things like, uh, you know, needless to say, you're fired. You know, and yeah. Uh, now do everyone a favor and get lost. And man, <laughs> I, I think tutorial unit kind of rags on the player a little more. Yes. And so, yeah. And so it's a little more fun to interact with people and use those lines, I mm. think. That's a great question, Matt. Yeah, it was. I met Matt at LA Comic Con. Miss Purple asked, what's your favorite hand unit or tutorial unit line? I think it's still Eggs Benedict, and the reason <laughs> it's not Exotic Butters, which, man, Exotic Butters is, it's timeless. At least I'm making it timeless. There's some people <laughs> going, don't you think that that's old? No, no. Uh, but I think it's Eggs Benedict, because that was the first, right? When, when, when we watched all of you YouTubers play in this game, and by the way, I like watching YouTubers play. Well, first of all, I have a Mac, so I can't play when the game comes out anyway. Mm -hmm. But, you know, older people are like, I, how you watch somebody else play? How is that even a thing? Yeah. Well, because when you were a kid, you sat in your living room and watched your buddy play the Nintendo mm -hmm. or whatever, or whatever game system you had. I had an Atari a long time ago. And it's just fun to share reactions with somebody. So even though you've got 800,000 people watching you, it just feels like I'm watching you. So yeah. it's a, uh, so anyway, uh, Watching all of you guys' initial reaction, and you know, you're like, oh my gosh, this looks scary. I'm in an elevator. Oh my God, this is creepy. Oh, that British guy's voice at the beginning. And then, <laughs> welcome to the first day of your excitement. You're like, oh my gosh, okay, what's going on with this? This is an announcer voice. And then the little guy pops up and says, please enter your name as seen above the keypad. Yeah. This cannot be changed later, so please be careful. Oh, it seems you had some trouble. And you're like, the keys are all gone. Yeah, you're like, yeah, what yeah. the? What the? What the? And, and so finally you get your first taste that there's going to be some good humor in this game. Yes, yes. And, uh, 
I mean, there was a couple of cutesy little lines before that. And so X Benedict was like the boom. Oh my gosh, yeah. this is going to be funny. I like that one a lot. Yeah, you provided the humor in Sister Location, like all of it, basically. Like yeah, you were, you I, were the, I don't know that anybody you else com- said it. You were the comforting guy, like, hey, we're back here. At least we've got a hand unit here to yeah. roll on the next joke. What's the next one? And it's like casual bongos and then exotic yeah, oh, mutters yeah. and stuff. It's great. Yeah, once, once you did a couple of those, I was like, because oh, I, I got the scripts for each night separately, like at different times. Um, and so, you know, the first one was funny, and then the second one comes, and it's like, oh, this cannot be, you know, please enter your whatever uh, angsty teen was the second night. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, this is funny. And then the third night, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, this this game has five nights. Mm-hmm. And then I actually recorded night five in a studio, so the engineer. So by this time, I'm kind of in on it, too, and I had to explain to him this running gag. He's like, well, exotic butters, what? <laughs> like, well, there's this running gag, you know. It's, yeah. Anyway. And then did, I had to say, but you can't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> did you, when you were, um, a lot of people have asked me this, so I might as well ask it. When you were doing these lines, um, did you know it was a horror game, by the way, when you were doing these lines? I did, I did because Scott put it in the specifications. <laughs> okay, uh, so when you were reading these, were you like, this this isn't really fitting in with a horror game when I'm saying exotic what he, butters and what stuff. What he said was, uh, you were the only friendly voice ah, in, okay. this, in this horror game. Uh, and so, yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I've heard Kellen's interviews before and he's kind of hinted. He said, I think Andy knew more than most of us did just because he had so many lines. And I think I did. Mm-hmm. Uh, I realize now that Heather has more lines than I do in Sister Location. They're just all way at the end, like in Nights 4 and 5 yeah. and stuff. And so, uh, so Heather probably knew quite a bit as well. Uh, whereas, you know, Michelle, who just sang the "Why do, you know, why do you hide inside these walls?" song, probably didn't have any idea what the game was about. Mm-hmm. Uh, other than that, she was a scary. I, I remember all of you guys speculating all, about all of us before Sister Location came out. It was kind of fun to watch those and, and comment on them back when I had. 200 YouTube subscribers and I'd be like that's an interesting theory and people go oh my gosh it's the dude it's the dude it's the guy uh, so the, the, the theories were that hand unit was a computer unit somebody had come up yeah, with that yeah yeah like a, a helper uh, someone he would guide somebody you somebody had said it might be a puppet mm-hmm. you know because of the name hand unit and, I, and there were a couple other theories out there and stuff too but uh, but I thought the puppet one was pretty slick knowing that there's a puppet in Five Nights at Freddy's mm-hmm Sai Zito asked, were you confident when you went into voice acting in Sister Location? Did you do, like, voice acting before this? Yeah, uh, I started in late 13. So by October 16, I was close to three years in. And, and I'll tell you, you know, in 2014, you know, I got a job here and a job here. But by 16, I was making a significant income at it. People, mm-hmm. people were hiring me. Uh, so sister location, you know, it was still exciting. I was confident going in, but I think it's given me a lot more confidence. It's given me the realization that I'm good at this. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it allowed me to go full time in voiceover. I, you know, the money from sister location didn't, but I think the confidence from sister location, uh, did. Yeah. It was, it was, uh, I went, so sister location was October of 16. Yeah. I went Mm -hmm. full time in May 17. So it wasn't long after that. Nice. And you go into all these conventions as well. Oh, and- yeah, man. They, they are a lot of fun. I did 10 conventions in 2017, and I've, I've got eight booked already for 2018, so I'll probably do more than 10. Nice. Uh, I like them. Uh, it's yeah. fun to meet fans. Uh, voiceover is lonely. I like to joke that I sit in a padded room and talk to myself, uh, <laughs> as, as do you. Yeah, as do uh, I. Uh, and I don't even have fun little toys to keep me company in here. Oh, I no. I've got the... Do you have the Exotic Butters plushie? No. I don't think we have a lot of FNAF merch as much as America. Okay, okay, but you're coming to the States soon, I think. Yes. I hope. And if you hopefully. do, we're going to... We, we will we're gonna find you. We're going to FNAF shopping. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're going to find you one. Well, I, I know where you're coming. There's at least two Hot Topic stores. So nice. We'll, yeah, we don't uh, have we don't have Hot Topic or anything here, so we have oh, to. I went to, we have I to went buy. To we have to buy all the 
Well, I had to buy all my FNAF stuff from America and it's a lot of money and the shipping as well. You get a lot of shipping tax and stuff and it's a pain. Yeah, um, it is. Yeah, I went in a Hot Topic the other day to see if they had the butters and, uh, you know, the, the little butters are Velcroed in. So yes. they come out of the basket. And there were like three of the butters laying around loose. Like I'd find them up under something, <laughs> but I never could find the whole deal or the basket. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, you know, I sit in here a lot or I go out of side of the booth to my computer and, and do other stuff. So going to the conventions and meeting people who actually like what I do is a mm. lot of fun. Out of Body asked, how does it feel living with a voice on par with Morgan Freeman? <laughs> I saw that one on Twitter and I thought, oh my gosh, man, I am nowhere near on par with Morgan Freeman. He is, uh, he's also from <laughs> Mississippi here where I'm from. Um, he has a nightclub. Dude, if you come visit, we might go to Morgan Freeman's club. I mean, we just have a burger or something. I'm not a clubber, but uh, now anyway, we're going clubbing. Uh, you've, you've confirmed it now. Well, you've, it's you've down in the Delta where the where the blues are, and that's distinctly American music. So if I'm showing you my little piece of America, then we may have to see that. So anyway, uh, but man, Morgan Freeman, he is so good. Mm -hmm. I wish I could do Morgan Freeman uh, his voice better. You know, like you know Andy Dufresne. You know, he's got that. I I sure I'm do love chocolate cupcakes <laughs> yes i do yes yes sir he's he's amazing man i wish my voice was on par so thank you thank you rfa rose asked how did you come up with the voice or tone used for hand units oh good question uh so in the specs on the casting website that we used uh scott said robot voice um something like how 2000 which is a famous robot voice uh and so i actually did three different takes which is common especially if, if the the script is short um but i think he went with the first take which i i, I did kind of smooth uh you know uh what was the line please please enter your name as seen above the keypad this cannot be changed later so please be careful that was the entire audition uh and so i did you know this cannot be changed later, so please be careful. And then I went a little more robotic. Please enter your name as seen above the, you know, so it was still mm -hmm. human speech, but kind of that stilted speech that we yeah. hear maybe from Siri now. And then on the third one, I just went Hollywood robot, you know, please enter your name as seen above the keypad. Mm -hmm. This cannot be changed later, so please be careful, you know, or whatever. Yeah. And it was, I don't know that I did it like that. But, so he just kind of said he wanted a smooth, how 2000 kind of computer voice where not what normally we would think of as a computer voice but what we would hope a computer voice would sound like when technology is advanced enough to sound yes. like a person yes you know if we, if we could take siri one more level and yeah we're, we're, cl we're close yeah like kellen didn't even know his character was named freddy uh fun time freddy you didn't know? he you just did you, no it just it was just like robot or something I think he said the spec was something like, uh, you know, animatronic, whatever, but something that uh, kids would love, but parents would hate. Okay. <laughs> but they didn't say, you're the voice of Funtime Fun Freddy. Friday, yeah. And the only, well, come think of it, the only reason I knew my character's name is that early on in night one, I say it. Yeah. Yes, so I, I do. So I bet Heather didn't know her yeah. character's Circus Baby. Yeah. Yeah, but I say all the names of the other characters, so I actually had you, a lot of insight. You know everything. I, I knew way more than I yeah. thought I knew. You do. You say Circus Baby, and you say Funtime Foxy, and you say... Looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. Yes. Um, so, yeah. I don't think I say Bitty Babs or Mini Renas or, you know, some of those, but uh, mm. interesting. Um, Otaku Spirit asked, what did you do before voice acting? Man, I did a lot. At the time, I was a teacher right before. And so the past few years, I was a teacher and a voice actor at the same time. And then I just quit teaching in, in May. Uh, I don't know how your school year in, in the UK goes, but in, in, in America, we usually end school right around the end of May, early June, depending on where you are. Uh, here in the South, the, the summer is already pretty brutal by the end of May. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, school is is really hard but the northerners tend to go more into june but then we start school in august so anyway i quit in may and i kind of had a kind of had to start around january planning if i'm going to quit and be a full-time voice actor 
What are the things that need to happen? Because you can't just tell your principal in August when school's about to start, hey, I'm not coming back next week. You yeah. Have to, you know, that, that's really bad form, especially uh, I taught STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and I was the only one in the school. So you, you got to give them enough time to get somebody yes. to, yeah. to replace you. Um, because there's some, you know, not everybody can program robots. Not everybody knows how to use the 3D modeling software and all that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was a teacher. I've been an army reservist for a long time. If you're United, well, I was going to say, if you're in America, you know what that is. No, you don't. Most people don't. Uh, that's our part-time army. I know the UK has one of those too. Mm -hmm. um, so one weekend a month and two weeks in the summer, I go do army stuff. And then whenever they, they call us. So I've been doing that 29 years. In fact, I, I leave tomorrow uh, for my weekend. Um, uh, and then I, geez, I was an EMT on an ambulance. I've been a bartender. I've been a waiter. I've been a furniture salesman. I've been a, uh, um, what was it? I was a drummer in a rock band. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff. College professor. Yeah. Uh, which is, which is like being a teacher. Same thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I, I, I'm hoping I've settled down on voice acting now and this is where I'm going to. Yeah, hang my ha hang my hat. It mm -hmm. probably is, and I'm probably gonna add some other things into that. Yeah, you know, twenty years from maybe like, well, I used to be a voice actor, but now <laughs> you know it's you know. But I think that I I think that whatever I do from here will 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 build off of that. Yes, uh, maybe maybe I'll be a YouTuber. Are you are you are you are you are you ready to play a game? I am ready to play a game. We play a game. And we do our impressions of specific characters in FNAF. And the comment section decides who wins. I've lost twice. Kellen won. Heather won. I'm bad. Yeah. I'm bad. Well, they're voice actors. That's what they do. Yeah, that's true, actually. Comment yeah. section. Say e I'm even bad. Their, e even their bad impressions are going to be better than the average uh, layperson. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Comment section of the FNAF show. <laughs> you, you, stop! Stop being mean to me. It's, it's not, I don't. I don't make a living off doing voices. I want to hear Vlad the Vampire. <gasps> from, we haven't had that one yet from so the Immortal. I know. I, this I is going to be interesting. Obscure. Okay. Uh, I don't really know the lines, but I'll just make something up. Clara, the baby isn't mine. Okay. Um. Hold on. I'm a vamp. I'm a. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> I'm a vampire. It is me. Oh wow! Oh Vlad, the baby is no, no. I did not do that right. Hold on a second. That's turned French now, right? Uh, no, I think you went Indian or something. <laughs> Claude, the baby isn't mine. Okay, okay. Look, when Clara, you were when you when you were, you were over on the side, you were better? doing pretty well. Yeah, but then you came over here I'm and you a got vampire. it. I'm a vampire. The Clara, the baby isn't mine. That's that's not bad. That's Thank not you. bad. That's bookable. Do you want to try it? Set... Do I want to try it? Yeah. Clara, the baby isn't mine. There you go. Right, you've but won. That's... I I give up. Well, I, I hang out, I hang out with Chris on occasion, and, and I, I like I like his character, so I try to well, try to do him. You know, upright is... or upside down. Is that is that why you picked him? Because you good you good at that voice. You knew you knew you was gonna get the first point. Well, no, because I didn't know you were gonna turn it around and make me do the same voice. So. Oh, okay. I okay. don't know the rules. I don't know. Yeah, the rules. Got, like we pick a voice and we both do it, and then the comment section oh, picks okay. who I wins you. overall. Okay, okay, all right, all right. But I think uh, you I'm... won that one again. So, oh, I well, never I win. I should I should have thrown it. Right, I'll pick one now, which you have okay. to do. And then I do it. Okay, I might do a. I might pick a female character just to just to see you try and be a female female. It's it's very hard. I'm I'm a very manly. Yeah. Well, person. I'm going to make you do it. Okay. Sorry, Ballora. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember her her lines. Uh, it's like. All I see is an empty room. Something, something in a tomb. Is someone there? I can hear you calling 
in my room. I don't know if I said that, any of that those was, lines. Right? No, that was spot on. <laughs> that was actually yes. spot on all the lines. <laughs> now, what am I going to freaking do again? All right, Ballora, it's on <clears> you, man. <throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna oh. contact Michelle and get her to watch this. Oh no! Why do you hide inside this room? All I see is an empty tomb. Is someone there? <laughs> I hear them breathing. Perhaps not. Nice. That's not bad. I mean, you sound like a dude, but I mean, it was, <laughs> which is good. But no, dude, that was good. And and, and your uh, your melody was good, too. You know, Michelle really worked. She wrote that. And so that mm -hmm. little minor drop there yes. is, is, is all hers. And uh, I'm not good at copying melodies until mm -hmm. I like had to intentionally listen to her do that. Mm -hmm. And so she's... She's a she's an interesting character. She's yeah. an a, a amazing lady that's done a lot of cool stuff in her life. Uh, I, I, she lives in the wilds of Canada. Mm -hmm. Like the other day, we had snow here. It was like this much. It wasn't even this much because the grass was poking through it, and uh, and I went sledding in it. And she's like, "You went sledding on a light frost, is what <laughs> you just did, or a heavy frost." I said, well, let me see your place. And she has a video from her balcony of her husband shoveling a path. And the oh, snow is God. up to like his shoulders. Oh, God. And it's like four feet tall. Yeah. But in the summer, she's got like this villa of buildings she's built. And she's got a screened in sleeping porch out in the middle of it all. Just this little shed with screen around it. And she sleeps on that in the summer. And she says, yeah, bears come up. Sometimes I have to shoo the bears off. And I said, that's a big nope. Uh, Andy, Andy ain't sleeping where there's bears, man. Oh, my God. No. That's crazy. Bears? No, thanks. Luckily here, we don't we don't have, like, bugs, like, scary bugs. We don't have scary predators like lions or bears or anything like that here. What do you guys have? Um, ants. I'm going to give you one that I think maybe you can beat me on. The Bitty Babs. Because they're British. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Okay. Um I see you. Shh. Someone is coming. He's trying to play hide and seek. Hello in there. Is someone in there? Is it the same person? I don't know any more of the lines. Shh, she's coming. You know that was better than me. Oh, you win. I, I already know. I don't know, man. You had the accent. I can't do a British Hello accent. In there. That's it. But you know, she's uh, British. Zara mm -hmm. Nakvi uh, lives. Well, I think she lives in London. Um, and she got to go to a con last year too. I, there was one that I was trying to get to in England. They're like, we can't afford to fly you over the ocean. Aww. I said, well, I happen to know a FNAF voice actor there in England. So they, they paid for her train uh, to go to um, Doncaster. Mm -hmm. um, and she had a blast. Okay. So, yeah, I, th I thought it was going to be asked in one of the questions, so I didn't ask it. So when I found out that I got the job, so I, I auditioned online. There were 121 of us that auditioned, and I was a teacher. And I was sitting in class and it was a slow day. I think I had the kids doing something. I just happened to be on my computer and I checked my email and I got the email that says, you've gotten a job. Yeah. Like, oh, great. And the kids knew I was a, a voice actor. They had seen some infomercials or, you know, commercials or uh, e-learning bits or whatever. I was like, hey, this is me. I said, oh, I got a job, guys. And I opened it up. And I said, oh, it's a pretty big one. Oh, it's a video game. And they're like, oh, that's cool. And I said, well, here, let's open it up real quick. I, I want to see what the script looks like. You know, I'm just thinking a video game, it's going to be like battle sounds like, ha, you know, yeah. you shall die, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and I was like, okay, computer voice, blah, 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 blah. And I start reading the thing, you know, and it's, you know, I will be your guide to help you get started, blah, 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 blah. And it says, uh, you know, due to the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and that's when at least two of the kids in the classroom looked up and said, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a Fred, that's a five inch of Freddy's game. Yeah. It's the new one. It's FNAF 5. <laughs> and then, you know, other kids in the room were like, what? What are you talking about? But I knew right away 
I better shut up. And so I emailed yeah. the guy. I emailed the guy right back. The guy being Scott Cawthon. And said, hey, I'm a teacher, and I just read part of this to my kids, and they are saying it's a Five Nights at Freddy's game. I just want to make sure I don't divulge anything. And he's like, well, I guess I can tell you that it is, since the script makes it pretty obvious. But yes, please don't read it in front of anyone. Please don't tell anybody. He says, you're allowed to tell people you're in the game. Okay. That's it. But, but interestingly, on game seven or six, yeah, on FNAF six, mm -hmm. um, he told us not to even say that we'd recorded it. Yeah, it's we're, crazy, isn't what it? it? What a, you know, so I recorded that thing back in like August. And Heather recorded her stuff before I did. Yeah. And uh, and uh, we just waited and waited and waited. I wasn't <laughs> even I wasn't even sure that game that came out was the game that I was going to be in. So. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Scott, Scott's just absolutely brilliant. Man. Yeah. He's just a, he's a, a mastermind of of the theatrical releases and mm -hmm. all that stuff. He's just amazing. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, I definitely love to do this again. And uh, if you come to the States, we're going to do a show from here. Yes. What I was actually from planning to do is if I ever come to the States, I wanted to do like um, a charity stream or something oh, there. That'd be amazing. We'll, we'll do something. It'll yeah. be cool. Shh, top It'll secret. So top shh. secret for now. Thank you guys for watching again on the FNAF show. I really do appreciate the support. Uh, remember to check out Andy. If you didn't know, his um, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube are all there, right there. So make sure you check him out. He's a great guy. He's done lots of cool things for me in the past, if you didn't know already. And he's great. So thank you very much for being on with me. I appreciate it. As always. Thank you. And Enjoyed you, it. Again, as you, always. You're more than welcome to come on again <clears throat> in the future. Because I want to keep this series going on for a while. So I'm thinking about like having like more than one voice actor on and we can do like a game or something together. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. So that yeah. would be cool. I've just spilled secrets out. But you guys can have them for supporting it. So thank you. Thanks, awesome. guys. Awesome. Thank you very much. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>